Okay, we've pretty much exhausted the tricks for dealing with sines and cosines. How do we deal with tangents and secants? Well, we did one tangent. Sometimes you convert everything to sines and cosines and use those tricks, but they have their own tricks as well. Now, because the derivative, derivative of tangent is secant squared of x, and the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x, that gives us two integrals with secants and tangents right off the bat. We know that the integral of secant squared x dx is tangent, just going backwards on that, and the integral of secant x tangent x is secant of x plus c. Sure, it also tells us that if we can get any number of tangents multiplied by a secant squared, then we can do u substitution with u equals the tangent of x, and the du is going to be the secant, so we'll sop up the secant squared. For example, let's say we want to integrate tangent squared times secant squared of x. Well, that's all, some number of tangents, it doesn't matter what that exponent is, times secant squared. If we set u equal to tangent of x, du is secant x squared, secant squared x dx. This whole thing is the du. This is becomes what? u squared. Remember, we only, we're setting it to the underlying things, not with the powers. The power will stay with the u. So this becomes u squared, and all of this becomes du. So its integral is one third u cubed plus a constant. You bring back in your tangent, and one third tangent cubed of x plus c is the answer. Quite lovely, and you can check this. You take the integral, the derivative of this, you'll get right back here. Similarly, if the integral is a whole bunch of secants with a secant x tangent at the end, secant x tangent x at the end, then u equals secant of x will work because the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. Well, let's do an example. Let's say you have four secants and a tangent. Well, what we do is we look at this as three secants and then a secant x tangent x. So if we set u equal to the secant of x, the du is secant x tangent x dx, all of this becomes du, and this whole thing just becomes u cubed. Remember, we didn't set u equal to secant cubed, just the underlying secant. So this becomes u cubed, and this becomes du. Integral of u cubed is very easy. It's 1 fourth u to the fourth power plus c. And plug back in your secant, secant to the fourth, one quarter, or secant to the fourth over four, plus c. That's your answer.